Cellulose comes to the factory in these batches, or to call them more correctly, piles. Basically, it is already quite similar to paper in appearance, and even to the touch. But, no, this is just raw material. Pure cellulose is brittle and thick. It is turned into the familiar, smooth, and flexible paper sheet in several stages. First, the pulp is stirred with the water in special devices called mills. Dye is added if you need colored paper. It then sits in these pools to soak up the moisture. The process is called dissolution. As an example, we will try to make a sheet of paper using the same technology they use at the factory. And that's how it looks in miniature form. This is a blender, inside of it pulp. Let's put in some more, now some water. And then just blend. There. The result is a uniform mass that is referred to as papery. The paper mass resembles porridge. To bind fibers together, factories use adhesive with a base of resin and rosin. It even has a special substance, resonates, which makes the paper strong and water repellent. And to make it white and opaque, the pulp is filled with chalk. Again, just to show you, we take chalk, dye, adhesive, and now we blend it again. Paper pulp is supplied to the so-called paper-making machine. This is a long conveyor. In the first section is a movable table with hydro strips. They, like blades, cut away water from the pulpy substance. Then the pulp falls into the wet box, which is blown by fans. And then enters the conveyor, where it is dehydrated by a vacuum-making pump. At this stage, the cellulose fibers are woven to form a whole paper sheet. At this stage, you can even touch it without fear of damaging it. The following process is similar to what happens with laundry after washing. While still wet, papers pass through a series of cylinders. Some extract it. Others heated from inside with hot steam, dry it. And the third, polish it. Finally, the paper sheet is compacted and sanded by a movable press. It's a bit like doing your ironing. Smooth paper is then wound onto rolls. This is the ready product which needs only to be packed. And shipped to the buyer.
So what about our homemade paper sheet? Pour into a grid. Keep pouring. You can smooth it out a little and... Well, that was what we wanted to prove. Lumps and grooves. After the water completely dries off and the mass hardens, this will be a sheet of paper. But the quality of it will be... so-so. As expected, handmade sheets of paper without further processing turns out rough and porous. But nevertheless, this is real paper.